Floss Tube. I'm Tamara. I am PD Stitcher here on YouTube and on Instagram. And this is my channel about cross stitch. Um, good morning. It is seven ish o'clock here in South Carolina on Sunday, January 17th. Um, the sun's starting to come in through the window right here, so hopefully the lighting will improve as as this goes on um i'm so looking forward to longer days i like the cooler weather i don't like hot weather i don't like really cold weather either but i like cooler weather i don't like dark i like sunshine so if it could be cool with sunshine that'd be perfect um so i'm looking forward to to the beginning of spring when we get some some cooler weather but a little bit more light in our days um I hope you all have had a good week. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I've been with y'all. Um, it's been two weeks. It's just been. <laughs> Last week I just couldn't wrap my mind around filming a floss tube. And that happens. So, this is floss tube 24. A couple videos ago I numbered them 22 or 21. Two of them were 21, <laughs> 22 was number 21. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm having some, some issues with counting and just thinking, and sorry. <laughs> so if you are new here, welcome. I hope that you see something that you like and that you'll stick around. If you do, um, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. I'd love to make new friends. If you're a returning friend, welcome back. I've really enjoyed getting to know several of you. Um, well, I get, enjoy getting to know everybody, but there's several of you who I've gotten to know very well recently. And um, thank you. I, I appreciate the, the, the comments and the likes and just the, the building of relationships. Um, I don't really have any stitchy friends here where I live. Um, so it's nice to build stitchy friends around the world. So what do I have today? I have a couple finishes. Yay! Um, I have a couple that are close to a finish, so I'll show you those when we get to whips. And I have some plans. So let's get started. So I have a couple finishes. Both of them are Advent Animals, which are free patterns from Brooks Books Publishing. And the first one, I'm doing them in, well, I'm, now I'm doing them in order. I've started these for Christmas in July, I did one a day for the first 25 days of um, July, for Christmas in July. And now I'm going back and finishing them. One of my whip go goals for this month is to finish five Advent animals. So I'm doing the first five. I just decided if I'm gonna do five, I'll do one, two, three, four, five. So this one is number one. This is Katie Kitty. And I am not doing the numbers or the borders. I'm going to finish these as little ornaments. And I finished number two, Peter Polar Bear, and that one that, that you can see. I do them all on one big thing, and then I'm just going to cut them apart and finish them. Number two is Peter Polar Bear. Now, this one, if you look, you can't really even see the snowflakes that I backstitched or did on there. You can if I hold it up close. But when I get back here, you can kind of see them. So I'm debating if it's worth it to do the snowflakes on the rest of them. Peter Polar Bear didn't have any snowflakes because he had the little steam coming out of his hot cocoa. So I didn't have any snowflakes for that one. But um, this is on 32 count Sterling from Picture This Plus, like I said. I'm doing them all, well not all of them. This is a half yard, half yard? Yes, <laughs> a fat half, I am, wow. This is a fat half and it's not quite big enough to fit all 25 so the others are on, picture this plus Nessie because when I went, when I realized that I didn't have enough to do all 25 on this, I couldn't find Sterling because it was in the midst of July and 
everybody's stocks were low because because COVID and shutdowns. So I bought Nessie because it's similar. It's it's very very close. So I bought a little less than a third of them. I think are on Nessie. The rest of them are on Sterling. So, but the two I finished are on Sterling, and then that will take us straight into Whips. I worked on Miss Hattie Hedgehog. Y'all, Steph from Just Keep Stitching talked about these hoops this past week. So I had to buy them, of course. I love it. I love, it does pull it tight, as you can see. This is fairly tight. This is the perfect size. I bought the set that had four different sized circle hoops. This is the second smallest and it's perfect for these little advent animals. And this is very flexible and goes on and off quite easily. Of course, now that I say that, here we go. See, and then that just pull it. it. It's not quite as tight because it's right up there at the top, but it still keeps it fairly drum tight like it would on my Q-snap. And I've been having pain in my hand because when I grip my Q-snap, which is huge, I grip it and hold it and then it causes pain right up through here. So this is a lot easier on my hands. So thank you, Steph. I know you don't watch me, but if you happen to stop by me, thank you. I appreciate the, the suggestion. So that was Nessie and, no, uh, not Nessie, Hattie Hedgehog, and she is number five. And I, I skipped three and four because I was trying to fit them into some prompts for magical stitches. And three and four are so close to being finished that they didn't have the 200 stitches I would need to do the prompt. So hopefully today I'll be able to finish the hedgehog because there's maybe 100 stitches left on her and then also knock out the other two. So maybe next week when I film, I'll have three finishes. That'd be great. All right, so that was whip number one. Um, the next one is in my vinyl Amazon bag. And it is Tiny Modernist Words to Live By. And I am starting, I'm doing the whole thing, and I've started with When It Rains, Look for Rainbows. When It's Dark, Look for Stars. And this was my new year, new start, and I worked on it for the first three days of 2021. And this thing's going to be huge when I get all of them together. So it's on this huge piece of paper, right? a piece of, piece of fabric, and I only have this one little piece, right, to one little part I'm working on. So let's see if I can wrangle this fabric. So I've got a pretty decent start on that block. This border, y'all. Is gorgeous, but who I had to think and I had to count and had to think and count at the same time. But it's going to be gorgeous when it's done. I'm very excited. So there are 13 parts to that. Obviously, there are only 12 months in the year. So I'm not sure if it's going to be finished during 2021. I'm hoping. Um, but it means that one month I'm going to have to double up on a block. This month, I'm going to try and finish this after I finish my Whip Go goals. So my Whip Go goals, I told you one of them. So Whip Go, for those of you who, who are new or haven't heard of it, Whip Go is a, the brainchild of Jessie Marie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff. And um, she created it a few years ago and last year kind of made it public and you know, and made a Facebook group and invited people to join her, and I did, and I failed miserably. <laughs> um, got through about my April goals, and then just said bump it because the year had just turned topsy turvy, and I just couldn't focus. So this year, I've decided I'm going to try and stick with it. Of course, it's only January, so we shall see. But my the two numbers she called, actually, she called three because she also pulled thirteen, which is the free space. 
which I took as a free space. There's nothing in that one, so I got to mark that one off. But the other two were Advent Animals, and my goal for that was finish five. And the other one was 2,000 stitches on Christmas 2, which is my one of my hates. Its artwork is by Sierra Marchetti. And I finished this goal already. I finished the 2,000 stitches. So this is what it's going to look like in 27 years when I finally finish it. Um, I absolutely love it. I love the nutcrackers. Um, I love all the colors. I love all the details, the, the dog and the cat down here, the fire in the fireplace, all the little lights. And I do realize that all of those details, especially all those little lights, I mean, it's a lot of confetti. This is a confetti heavy. But I did get 2,000 stitches. This is my little nutcracker um, needle minder from the Frosted Pumpkin. And so, if I can hold it and show you. So when I'm, I try, I'm, this one is a paper copy. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> it's a paper copy. I don't have this one on Pattern Keeper. It's a long story. I think I told it a couple videos ago. Um, but I'm trying to do the feathering, and it's really hard doing it. On paper so I don't know if I'm going to continue I, I might just continue to do the straight edge and if it ends up feeling a little bumpy it feels a little bumpy maybe it'll work in itself out when I frame it in 27 years so you know. so when I started this page at the beginning of January I think I had that much time because I do work in blocks along the diagonal in the box of 100 and now I finished the page the, the bottom of the page is right here so I've got one, two, three, four pages. This is page number five for me. And I'm I'm really happy. It's it's starting to it's starting to look like something. I love as because when you when you're sitting there with it up close, you don't really see it. And then you hold it back and you can see the ornaments and the the plant and the bow and the curtain. And I love seeing the details kind of come to life as I stitch. So that was that's been one of my focuses because my two whip go goals were my focus. I'm going to finish up, hopefully finish up the second whip go goal today. So finish up one whip go goal. I'm going to finish up the other whip go goal. And the third focus I had was to work on January from the Cricut collection. I started this last year for Mania, Mania 2020. I started the first six of the months. Um, I finished... March, April, May, and June. And so I just have January and February left to go to finish. And um, so January is my focus for this month, for January. And February will be one of my focus pieces for February. And I am here. I am almost done. I have the rest of this little bird. And I have the back stitching. There's some back stitching that goes in the angel. And then this will be done. So really, truly, next week when I film, I could potentially have four finishes. I won't even know what to do with myself if I have four finishes to share with y'all in one week's time. So those are my focus pieces for January, and we're just halfway through. So um, I feel like I've gotten a good bit of stitching done. I changed my, I guess, my plan of attack um, last year. I'm still in School of Magical Stitches, or as a, I think they just changed the name to Just Magical Stitches this weekend. I'm still in that, and I'm still trying to do the prompts, but last year I tried to make sure I did every prompt for every weekly, and I would pull out 57 different projects if it meant that I could get all the prompts met. I'm not doing that this year. I'm going to work on my focus pieces, and if they fit in a prompt, great. And if they don't, I just won't do that prompt because right now there's not penalty stitches. Um, they're just seeing how much we can stitch. I think this is a an intro month to, to get us into the year, and then they're going to sort us into cabins, I think cabins, next month, groups, something, and then we'll, we'll be 
com competing. I don't I don't know all the details. Um, but it's it's fun. It's it keeps me kind of interested in stitching, and you know I've made some friends through the group, so that's good. Um, but I'm not focusing on doing every prompt this year. I'm going to focus on my focus pieces because I'd like to get some finishes with. Now I do count each of the Advent animals as one whip each, so that's 25 whips right there, and then I have another. 26 or 27 other whips so that's over 50. I'd like to get rid of some of those. I'd like to get it down so we shall see. Um, obviously I've dropped two of them already because I finished those first two advent animals. Um, I keep saying um, I'm so sorry. So plans, my plans for today are to finish those three advent animals and then this week Finish January, which I probably will knock that out maybe tomorrow, Tuesday. And then after that, I am working on the January acrostic for 24 hours acrostitch. So I've been able to fit those focus pieces into most of the letters for the acrostic. I've got a few left, and I might pull out some projects that'll fit those. I might pull out projects that'll fit prompts this week to once I finish my focus pieces. But the goal is to finish my focus pieces. And I might go back to the um, words to live by and try and knock out the rest of that square this week. Next week, I don't know how much stitching I'm going to get done. I'm leaving next Sunday to go to Disney World with one of my girls. Um, that was her choice for her senior trip, so we're going to do that. We'll be gone for just a couple of days. We're going to do two days in the parks and then come back home. Um, so next week I think I'm going to be filming on Saturday instead of Sunday since Sunday morning we'll be getting up and hitting the road. But I don't know how much session I'll do. I'll take some hopefully. I'll remember to take it this week, this time. Um, when I took my other senior on her senior trip back in October, I packed my stitching bag and left it on the table. So I didn't get any stitching done that those few days we were in Washington, D.C. So if I remember to take my stitching and I'm not totally exhausted in the evenings when we get back after being at the park, then I might get some stitching done, but I'm not going to stress about it, and I've already hit most of my goals for this month, so I feel pretty good about that. So I don't have any haul. I will probably next week because I had a gift certificate I got for Christmas that I spent yesterday at Fire Poppies. So hopefully that will be in in the next couple days. I made the purchases last night, and about an hour later, I had the email in my email box that said it was ready to be shipped. I love Fire Poppies. Y'all, if you're not ordering from Fire Poppies, you definitely should. They have the best customer service. They have the fastest turnaround times as far as picking the, the order and sending it. Um, if, you, if you order something strange, <laughs> Like I did by accident a couple of times, um, the last time, not not yesterday, but the last time before. I meant to get a fat, a fat half of the fabric I was getting. And the way they do it is they have it, a quantity of one is one eighth. It's a fat eighth. So I wanted a fat half, which meant I needed one, two, three, four. But I ordered, and when I put it in, I put it in for three quantity. So they called me and said, okay, you ordered three, so your quantity was three, you're gonna get a fat quarter and then a fat eighth. They'll be cut separately, is that what you want? And that wasn't what I want. wanted. So I told them what I wanted, they changed it, they changed the, the order, they emailed me to, to pay the difference and within the rest of that day, it was picked and shipped. So uh, they will call and, and ask you if, if what you if what you put as your order was a little strange or different, they'll make sure that they're getting you the right thing. So, so hopefully I'll have that in the next couple of days. And then I also had a, a gift card that I spent at One Two Three Stitch yesterday. So I should be getting quite a quite a few goodies in the next couple of weeks. And didn't spend a dime for any of them of my own money. I use gift cards, so that was nice. Um, 
floss tubers, who am I watching? I just found in the last couple weeks the patient stitcher. Um, I told you I'm doing all the months from the Cricut collection. I'll be starting July through December this year, and then I'm going to do those seasons. And she is stitching winter from the Cricut collection, and her fabric is absolutely lovely. So if you haven't checked her out, go check out the patient stitcher. And then Jen at Stitching in the Bluegrass. I was watching her yesterday, day before yesterday. And she also has... I want to make sure I'm not showing the pattern. There we go. She also has some of these bags from Amazon. And she had the best idea. She took one of those vinyl stickers like you can put on your Yetis or whatever. And she put it on here to decorate her bag. Genius. So then I don't have these plain bags. So I'm going to be getting some vinyl stickers and decorating my bags. So... Thank you, Jen. Um, you probably don't watch me either, but that's okay. I can still thank you. Um, and then life. Um, I told you I'm, I'm leaving next week to go to Disney World with one of my daughters for her senior trip. It'll just be her and I. Um, since we homeschool, <laughs> there's not a senior trip at the school. And <laughs> this year, I don't think any schools are doing senior trips just because of, of COVID. Our schools here are still... They, they went back after Christmas completely virtual, and so this they're going on week three now completely virtual again. They're hoping to open up Monday the 25th for the hybrid. They have some people, some people have chosen to be virtual, some people have chosen to be in person on an A-B schedule, and some people have chosen to be in person five days a week. I, I, we homeschool, so it doesn't really affect us that way. It does for sports. My, my girls do sports for the schools. Um, but as far as in-class instruction, we do that at home anyway. So we're going to take the senior trip in Disney World. And it's been a while since I've been to Disney World. And I know with, with COVID and all the you know things that they you know, have done to, to make it as safe as possible, it'll look a little different. It won't be nearly as crowded. We'll see. I'm, I'm sure it will still be fun. It'll still be magical. It might not be the same kind of magical, but it'll be magical. Um, one of my girls did just turn 16 this past week. And so yesterday she did a 16 mile run to celebrate her 16th birthday. Um, more power to her. <laughs> 16 mile run is not in my wheelhouse, but she loves running. Um, she did have some, some friends who ran parts of it with her. Um, so she had people with her the whole 16. It just changed to a couple of them did the first three. And then some of um, a friend of mine, one of her coaches from our track club and her running group were doing a half marathon, a virtual half marathon. So she just joined them for those 13 miles and, and got it done. Um, college classes start back for my oldest on Tuesday. And then my two seniors are also going to be doing a dual credit class at the college this semester, so they'll start on Tuesday. And soccer is starting back for my youngest, so she'll be going to soccer practices in the evenings. And so life is kind of back to normal, but not. You know, I just my job is taxi driver. I just tow them where they need to go. I picked a, a word for this year. I don't know if, if you do a word for the year, if you do resolutions. I, I used to do resolutions. I stopped because I don't keep them. I keep them for about a week, maybe two. I do a word. And this year, my word I chose was grow because I want to grow as a parent, as a wife, as a person in my relationships with other people. Uh, I want to grow my relationships with my, with my Floss TV friends, with my stitching friends. I want to grow my relationships with my my in-person friends. Um, and I, I read somewhere this week that 80% of our thoughts are negative. And that just, that makes me sad. So the, I've been doing a quote at the end of my floss tubes. And this week, my quote is, is from the Bible because this verse just says exactly what I need to focus on. 
And it's Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is any praise, think on these things. And I want to grow in my thoughts. I want my thoughts to be true and noble and, and pure and lovely and, and not negative. And it's been kind of hard in, in the world that we live in. But I can't change the world and I can't change anybody else. I can change me. So I hope that you all have a great week. I hope you all stay happy, stay healthy, and keep stitching. Bye, y'all.